Hey guys, what's up? It's Nicole and today I am going to be doing a video that I have been wanting to do for such a long time and it is my vinyl collection. I have been collecting probably for th two or three years. Anyways, so we are just going to get right into it because I have a quite a lot. These aren't really going to be in any order except for this one and this was my first vinyl and it is the Charlie Brown Christmas album and it's a beautiful green color. And it is just so Christmassy, and this album is a staple to my family during the holidays. If I can get it back in here, that'd be great. Okay. The next couple records I have are all the 1975, which is like my favorite band. So I have their self-titled album. Then we have I Like It When You Sleep. I have A Brief Inquiry into Online... A Brief Inquiry into Online Relationships. There we go. 7 inch little single for medicine. I want to take this one out because I love the color of it. It's like this like ambery gold. Of their face down EP, the I, I call it IV, is that like 5 or 4? Don't know. And then I have the Music for Cars EP. Next up is a classic, a classic. Blue Neighborhood by Troye Sivan, 10 out of 10 amazing album to have on vinyl. The next album I have is a really funny story. I actually had only heard probably like two or three songs off of this album, but I bought the full album on vinyl because I thought it would be very pretty to listen to on vinyl. And that is Hozier by Hozier. Ho Hozier. And I was right. So many of these songs like became some of my favorites for a while. Oh my God, another classic. Honestly, what am I supposed to say about this besides literally instant classic? My World 2.0 by Justin Bieber on vinyl is just all someone needs in their life. Then we have my Ed Sheeran collection. So we have his debut album plus. Then we have Multiply. Then I have some more Ed Sheeran on the even. Then at my local record store, Criminal Records in Atlanta, I got songs I wrote with Amy EP. This is like throwback, real old Ed Sheeran. I still haven't opened this. Like this is my problem. I buy all these and I don't open them and I never use them. Next we have, oh my God, I forgot the name of this for three seconds. Language and Perspective by Bad Sons. One of my favorite bands, um, my holy trinity is the 1975 Bad Sons and Catfish of the Bottlemen. So... And then we have Disappear Here, also by Bad Sons. No words have to be said about this. Absolutely none. You all understand why this is a necessity to life. The beauty, the culture, I cannot. Then, as I said, my holy trinity, we have The Balcony by Catfish on the Bottom. And the Balcony is so much better than The Ride, and they know that. The Ride is still good, but I definitely love a lot more songs off of the balcony. One of my other favorite bands is Glass Animals and their, I believe this is their, no, I am such a fake. This is their second album, How To Be A Human Being. One of my favorite songs of all time is Agnes by Glass Animals. Now, I love 21 Pilots, but I'm not as big as a fan as a lot of people, but this is one of my most listened to vinyl. I listen to this so much. Vessel is definitely my favorite album by 21 Pilots, so good. So, so, so good. Next, we have the Laney Collection. This is Make Out by Laney. Okay, literally, I have two of their EPs on vinyl, and I bought them both at their concert that I saw them at for the first time. 2015, I believe. And then we have the Kinda EP. And then we have Laney by Laney. I really need to get their new album, Malibu Nights. That's what it's called. I completely forgot for a minute. Malibu Nights is like easily one of my favorite albums of 2018. Yes, it came out then. Then we have one of my favorite artists of all time is Hoodie Allen. Just, if you have not listened to this man, listen to him. He serves the bops. He is king of the fans. He's one of the nicest people I've ever met. But The Hype is probably my favorite album by him. I just love it so, so much. I bought this off of his store. It has signed by him. So, 10 out of 10. Another vinyl that is signed is two-sided charlie xcx number one angel and pop two i bought this to be able to meet her it says to nicole heart charlie what a woman then we have a classic in the country pop world read by taylor swift aka her best album i hold this album so close to my heart the serve girls the serve literally her best album then we have starboy by the weekend i like loved him when i bought this i mean i still love him like i do love this album but i never listened to this now we move into one of my other favorite bands and that is 
five seconds of summer. This was probably the, I think this was the third vinyl I ever bought when I got my player. Full of hits. Oh no, this is a really pretty color. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That, so cute. Love that little pink. And then we also have, of course, Youngblood. And this is honestly like one of my favorite packaging. Okay, I'm done. This, I just love this like color with the stripes. I don't know. I love this album. I could go on a lot about it. This album means a lot to me. Soundtrack to a very important era of my life. Let me not get soft. We have Room 93 by Halsey, a classic. Like, look at this lineup. The girls can't do it like this anymore. Like, she kind of snapped. Love this. And then we have her best album. I don't really care for Hopeless Fountain Kingdom, no offense, but this album, this is also with Along the Vessel, one of my most listened to. Now this is the second vinyl I ever purchased, my everything by Miss Grande. And I literally, I promise you, no offense, but uh, yes, of course, there are classics on this album. Um, Break Your Heart Right Back, classic. Love Me Harder, classic. But I truly bought it for this because it's so pretty. I just love the purple. Before I show what you can clearly see is on the shelf, I have a vinyl right here that is very important and I'd like to talk about it. So this vinyl is a little seven inch vinyl and it is from a place called Least of All. Least of All. And oh my God, Least of All. I just got that. Least of All. God, I am so Anyways, it's from a place called Least of All Sound Recordings and basically artists can go there and they can record vinyl directly from them singing. So it's like they're not copies, they're all one of a kind. So I purchased this from one of my favorite small artists, Matt Walden. I love that man and his music. He actually had options that you could purchase like of what song you wanted and I DM'd him and I said can I have to for your eyes because it is my favorite song by him and and he figured out how to like put it on the website just for me as like an option and I was the only person who purchased that song and so when I put it on it has like an intro and he like he's like hey Nicole like you know he like says my name and like whatever and he like talks about it and he's like thanks for buying you're actually the, this is actually the only take of this besides the one for Hadley, his girlfriend's name, and like, it's really cool, but I digress. Uh, should I even take this off the shelf? We can all clearly see what this is. May I zoom in? Let's see. We all see what this is right here. Anyways, this is my Hamilton box set. Four vinyl in one as the original Broadway cast recording, and I treasure it so much. I love Lin-Manuel Miranda. Um, Hamilton kind of revived my love for theater. So that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell. You know all of that. Watch out for more content because I'm just having a lot of fun creating it right now. And yeah, so hope you enjoyed this and I can't wait to see you next time. Okay, bye. Are you still there to delete messages? What are you talking about?